Hey guys, this is the Walker 3 World Editor with another tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use the Campaign Editor. So you can start off by opening the Walker 3 World Editor, I have it here. And then press F7 to open the, uh, the Campaign Editor here. Now this is actually sort of a tool for itself. So it's not working with the maps you make. You make them, you open a map. Uh, in this editor and you can open a campaign and say the campaign in this editor You use this by uh, start off naming your campaign like uh, I'll just name mine test you can put in a difficulty the author your name and describe it uh, You can also use variable difficulty levels and you can use an image for, um, for the preview. Now if you go to the, um, if you look here you'll see the map files. You don't have any from the start but you can press this uh, add map button, hold down control press A to add a map to your campaign. Now I've made these two maps for my campaign and I've actually also made a campaign and um, I'll just try to open that. So when you open a campaign you press the open campaign button and no I don't want to change, save this. I made this uh, the Rampage of the Horde, and as you can see I've imported my maps, the Blade Master and Return of the Paladin, the maps that I made, I've given it a description and such, and if you, if you go to the tab loading screen you'll see these um, buttons, or whatever they're called, and um, you need to make these to make a menu. So. If you want to make a button like this, you just right click and press add button. Then you can name it what the and holy and then the file loaded should be one map. Um, yeah that's basically it. Press OK, you have a map. You have a button. And uh, if you check this visible, this will be visible then uh, when the campaign is loaded first time. If you don't want this visible when the campaign is loaded first time, but want to reveal it when you've won a few uh, games, then don't check this. Press OK. Now I'm just going to delete that button, but um, here you see my maps, and you can actually press one of these and. and uh, this button should be uh, edit map, and when you press that button, it just opens the map. I'll just let it load here, and here we go. This is the map I made. Um, very boring, but uh, hey, whatever. It's just a test. Um, well, when you edit this, it doesn't. When you edit and save this, it doesn't save and um, import itself into this uh, campaign editor again. So you actually have to delete this and add it again, or else it won't work. I tried it a uh, hundred times, so when you save this map with changes, then delete it from here and import it once more. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You uh, select the map and all, all that, and um, that's how it works. Now, if you want your map to go from one map to another, or just to make one map activate the other, like uh, in this one, it's the uh, second map is the Return of the Paladin. You can go in here, and I'll just edit the first one because the, this map is uh, filled with triggers that make that actually activates the second map. Now here we have this uh, paladin and a few footmen and this blade master. Now if I open up the uh, trigger editor by pressing F4, I'll have this trigger. I made this trigger, and uh, it, it's very simple. It's like uh, when the blade master dies, the hero, the paladin, increases his level. He waits a second place. A sound called conquest complete. Uh, quest complete, sorry. Then it displays that um, player one has uh, completed a quest. It waits five seconds, and then it sh 
I, uh, I actually went into game and I said show campaign button 2. That's the second button in the campaign editor. Right here. Button number 2, ID number 2, Return of the Paladin, Chapter 2, blah blah blah. So this trigger activates this button. So now it's activated. Now you need to uh, go into just this for a short time. You go into game and set next level, and you just set it to the uh, directory when you where you put your map. In my case, I put mine under maps, frozen throne maps, scenario, and I made an extra folder called campaign, and then the map is called Return of the Paladin. Uh, dot w3x w3x is um, first throne maps and w3m is reign of chaos now once this is done you just make a complete uh, action and when the map is completed um, you will move on to the next map and that's actually how it works so thanks for watching and um, yeah, a little extra notice, um, if you want a hero to go from one map to another, so when this hero completes the map, um, increases his level from level 4 to level 5, if you want him with the ability to be chosen in the next map, you need a game cage. I'll make a link somewhere in this video, and uh, an annotation and a link in the down bar when the video is done. It's not done yet, but um, check it out when it is. So that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you liked it, and take care. I am not afraid. Justice will be served. Strike with great vengeance! Justice will be served. As you wish. In Nightbringer's name, have at me! Defending your name. For my people. I? What do you need? Right. <laughs>